With a moment of silence, the Egyptian interior minister began his press conference giving condolences to the victims of the ministry. Ibrahim revealed the results of the ministry in chasing the planners of several terrorist attacks that targeted the country. Security bodies in cooperation with the armed forces managed to arrest groups that planned the most dangerous terrorist attack on the nation. The aim to create chaos. The Muslim Brotherhood, with support from its international bureau, managed to amass extremists, some of which are related to Al-Qaeda. After Morsi was ousted, some Islamic groups in Sinai started targeting army checkpoints. It wasn't long afterwards that assassination attempts were reported in the capital. The latest took place last week. Two high-ranking officers were assassinated. One of them was a key witness in Morsi's espionage case. And the Egyptian people to rest assured that his death doesn't mean that the case that he made and was going to testify in is over. Our ministry is working in an organized manner and there is a team that will take over this case. The recent unfortunate assassination shows that they managed to get inside information with officers' names and their house locations. This means they had prepared lists of targeted names. Security forces arrested five leaders of terrorist organizations and at least 39 of their members. Muhammad al-Zawahri, the brother of al-Qaeda leader Ayman al-Zawahri, was among the arrested. According to Ibrahim, some of them got out of prison with a presidential decree that Morsi issued when he was in power. And some of the others were among the protesters who joined the Rabah sit-in. According to the Interior Ministry, they confiscated dozens of machine guns, hand grenades, rocket launchers and explosives. But if that's just what the authorities have found, there's probably more waiting for another attack. Adil Mahrouri, CCTV, Cairo.